teachers were uh, when I was in high school, a Roman Catholic nun did a lot of work in Appalachia, and she would go out and the Samaritan woman at the well, that's one of my favorite uh, passages about going out into another dimension, but I clearly remember when I was a youth minister, I uh, had a, not, not a confrontation, but a showing with my staff the day after I confirmed, was responsible for these children to become adults who were women, who were Catholic nuns, felt uh, disenfranchised a bit from the presentation on the altar where there was entirely men. And for many, many years, the Lord was asking me, are you in integrity with me, Thomas, by worshiping in a community that excludes women from the altar and from the pulpit? And uh, I had to ponder that question a lot. And when I was in graduate school, I met uh, a woman who became a very good friend of mine who was a graduate of Notre Dame. And she was uh, having her own challenges in her faith, Catholic faith, with the same question. She died tragically uh, uh, towards the end of my term there. But uh, her message in my life has been very strong. And it was a constant, persistent question that came. And at the same time, I saw the efforts of the United Methodist Church in social outreach ministry, serving the poor and going out into the Reminded me of my old Catholic roots, what I remember of the early 60s under John the 23rd in that call. So it was, it was a long haul, but it, it, it's been a good fit. So I'm glad I'm here. Share with us a significant event in your life that has shaped or changed you and how this affected your faith. Well, I, I mentioned uh, this good friend of mine, but she and another uh, good friend of mine died tragically violently when I was at uh, graduate school in Indiana. And it really, there was a, uh, there's a shock effect, but then it, it began to get grow in so many different dimensions. And it's not about their death, but about their witness as well, that they died so courageously. But at the same time, it gave me a, a certain sense of working through the grief and the anguish and the grief, but that led me to the joy of the lives that they lived and my relationship with them. But it gave me a certain dimension of empathy and compassion of what's occurring with uh, African American youth, though I would not equate my experience with theirs, but the, the tragedy of it, but also with, like, with the tragedy of the crucifixion as well. But then comes the resurrection. So that event really shaped me a great deal. And listening to uh, our former Pastor Chet was uh, experiencing about this really was a wake up call. Um, for me, I was in the Navy and we had a deployment where we went past the Arctic Circle. I was on a submarine. I was one of the three officers who were on duty that day, and most of this, most of the boat were, um, most of the people were seasick, and we were in this huge exercise. And we had to take the boat to periscope depth, which is approximately 60 feet, where we uh, raise the periscope and raise the antenna, and we can get communications and try to and get our bearings, and we couldn't see anything. And the storms were so incredible it would knock our submarine down from being at 60 feet, and we would cheat, we would get up a little higher at like 50, and it would knock our boat down to 250 feet. And we would rise back up, and it would knock us, and we'd go back down. And at the same time, I remember looking through the periscope and seeing these birds, and these birds just went into the water. And so I'm looking at it, and I, I say back to the other, other officer with me and I said these birds are all dying they can't make it back because of the storm and as I looked the birds just popped out of the water and just started flying away with fish in their mouth and this storm just brought to me and I can just feel the presence of God that in creation and in nature he's there there was so much chaos and at the same time there was so much order and just that voice said, I am here. And it was just, it was just an incredible moment. Which seems appropriate on this St. Francis Day and seeing the God of all creation, even those birds 
at the Arctic Circle.